Okay guys, so in this one we're gonna set up a virtual environment. Virtual environments are really good for um, tracking what requirements are for your project. So if you have Django 1.4.3 in your project, then you'll know that. Or if you have Django 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.7 or whatever, you'll know those things. So system-wide, if you do a pip freeze, you'll see all of these things that are installed and it's not always like related directly to that project. And sometimes, again, you're, you're working in an older project. So we need to do something about that. So what you need to do is sudo pip install virtual environment and type in your password. And I already have it installed. Yours will go through some installation process there and that will be good. So what we wanna do is cd into documents and then we're gonna do virtual env. This is how we start a new virtual environment, or at least the folder for it. So virtual environment for e-commerce, it sets up that. Let's change into there. And now we wanna actually activate it. So we go source bin slash activate. And you notice now it says e-commerce here. So we are now in our virtual environment. If we do a pip freeze now, you're not gonna, you, you only see a couple things. You don't see that much. You actually don't even see Django in there either. So we can do pip install Django equals 1.5.1. .1. And notice I didn't have to do a sudo. All I had to do was pip, which makes it a little bit easier for installing things. Um, so it's gonna go through here and download it, but that's virtual environment. So every time now, when you wanna work on e-commerce on the e-commerce site or any project, Make sure you store it into a virtual environment, and that's specifically so you know that you're, what you're working with is the right version and all that. You don't have any confusion or error with those types of things, especially when you work on multiple projects and over time, um, the versions for them change. So you know, if we do a pip freeze now, we'll see that Django 1.5.1 is in there. Okay guys, so we'll see you in the next one.